I was born in London, England, 1983. My father was a diplomat for the Sudanese embassy, uh, or Sudanese government, and he was working at the Sudanese embassy in, in England. So I, I lived there for maybe a year, and soon after, my family moved back to Sudan. Um, and we lived in Sudan for maybe six, five, five, six years. Moved to the United States in the in the early 90s, 1989, around that time. All the while, my fam, my mother and my sisters and I would would find our way back to Sudan to visit our family. As a kid, my parents loved music. They would always play it around the house all the time, and I remember distinctly listening to a lot of East African music from Ethiopia, Sudan, and Somalia. South African music like Miriam Makeba, um, Mohatela Queens, like that kind of stuff. Uh, and a little bit of West African music, Fela Kuti, and music from Nigeria. And also a lot of Bob Marley, ABBA, The Beatles, you know, like Western pop music, reggae music. Um, and I think that that all informed everything that I do. You know, it became a part of my musical DNA very, very early on. And so by the time I was 11 years old, I played my first concert. Um, and I never looked back ever since. I played my first show and I knew that's exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It was like uh, alternative rock music. We would play like songs from Pearl Jam and, and Green Day, you know, just like young kids do. You know, it was, it was a lot of fun. When I was a teenager, I was introduced to punk music by a friend of mine and I went to go see a show and it was a very profound experience for me you know it was like really energetic and immediate and it it spoke to me you know as a teenager like angsty teenager who was angry and wanted to like you know get into trouble so I I really learned a lot from that experience and it, I carried it, I carry it with it with me till this day you know I played in hardcore bands until my mid-20s you know and I learned a lot Five words, I would say um, energetic, dynamic, colorful, um, fun, and black. <laughs> my, my songs are all kind of about a similar thing, you know, my, it's, a, it's a personal journey for me. And I, I use music as some sort of therapy to kind of figure out who I am you know, as a human being. And a lot of that has to do with my identity, um, where I come from, where do I belong in this world, and so on. And as I went on that journey, I became very inspired, you know. And I, I found this word, depeze, on the internet. And I thought, this is the first time I've read a word that describes how I feel, you know. And I, I found this amazing answer that I've been searching for for so long in this word and I became so excited to make this album you know I I felt like you know the the clouds had parted and the, uh, there was no uh, fog anymore I could really see clearly what I wanted to do uh, there are some things that I can't really describe as well in English and so singing them in Arabic is easier and it's more to the point and you know when I st when I start singing, the de uh, when I'm making the songs in the beginning and I start singing them, I always start singing them in Arabic first, and then I change them to English. And sometimes you something gets lost in the translation. You know, it doesn't quite have the same meaning or it doesn't sound as good. And so I figured maybe this time I'll just mix the two. You know, it'll it'll be more more honest. You know. I want to make an album with David Byrne. I think it would be a lot of fun. Very interesting stuff together. You know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's on the way? Uh, I don't know. 
<laughs> if he answers my emails, maybe. We'll see. I don't know. But I would, I would love to do something like that with him. That would be great. Oh, world domination. I got to take over everything, you know? I got to come to every country and, and really kick ass, you know? I think that... I don't know. You know, I, I really want to collaborate with more people. I want to... I want to play bigger shows. I want to win a Grammy. I want, you know, all, all the all the things that every artist wants, you know. And I'm